Hello my crafty friends welcome to our channel I am Anu designer with just my craft and today I'm back with another craft tutorial but before we move forward please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us Today I'm going to show you how to make four quick and easy treat boxes using hanging tag punch from just my craft so let's get started this is the beautiful tag punch we're going to use today. It punches these three sizes. Start with taking a piece of pink cardstock measuring 6.5 by 2.5 inches. Punch on one side like this. It gives a crisp and clean cut. Now take Dress My Craft mini scoreboard and score this at 3 inches and 3.5 inches. Fold and burnish the score lines. Now take another piece of paper measuring 4.5 by 3.25 inches. Score on longer side at half inches, 1 inches, 3.5 inches and 4 inches. Turn it 90 degrees and score at half inches and 1 inches. Now make some cuts as shown to form it into a box. Here I am taking a 1 inch circle punch to punch a semicircle in here. Now adhere the flaps and make it into a box. Burnish all the edges with bone folder to make it stick properly. To decorate the box, I am using Sweet Treats Paper Pack from Dress My Craft. Here I have pre-cut the matting. Now I am just gonna adhere these the scallop circle is cut from one and a half inch scallop circle punch and heart from one inch heart punch from dress my craft To close this, I am using a thin white ribbon. Now just add in your treats and close this up. For the next one, take a piece of blue cardstock measuring 8.5 by 2.5 inches. Punch this from both the sides as shown. Now 
Now score this piece at 4 inches, 4 and a half inches. Now turn it over and again score at 1 and 1 8 inches. Fold and burnish on the score lines. To decorate this, I am going to add pan paper on the back panel. And a belly band to close this box. At last adding a scallop circle with heart using ribbon. Moving on for the third box, take two pieces of pink cardstock measuring 5.5 by 2.5 inches. Punch both the tags from one side. Now take scoreboard and score at one and a quarter inches. Ignore the score lines on this tag here. I drew them accidentally. Now turn the tag and again score at one and a quarter inches. Cut and fold as shown. Now mark a line at 3 inches and score as shown. Here I have two thin strips measuring half inches by three inches. Fold these from center. Now these are going to be our hinges to attach both panels together. So adhere them as shown and finally close the box from bottom.
now add pan papers to decorate. Put in some treats and tie it with a ribbon. For the last box of the day, take two pieces of blue cutstock measuring five and a quarter by two and a half inches. Punch them both from one side. Now take another piece measuring 5 inches by 6.5 and inches and score this on the longer side at 2 inches and 4.5 and inches. Turn it 90 degrees and score again at 2 inches and 3 inches. Now on all the sides score half inches to the left of the four score line as shown. Now make some cuts as shown in the video and fold and burnish on the score lines. Now adhere the flaps to make a box as shown. Score half inch on both the tags and adhere it to the box. Finally decorate it with pan papers, add in some treats and close it with ribbon. So this was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do give it a thumbs up, leave some love in the comments and share this video with your friends. Also, all the supplies I've used in this video are linked in the description box below. You can check there. So now I'll take a leave and I'll be back again with another craft tutorial. Until then, see you and happy crafting.